That is gold. Mm -hmm. Hey what's up soldiers my name is Greg FPS the zombies extraordinaire and welcome back to another video here today on the channel today guys I'm going to be talking about the brand new hammer and sickle melee weapon that just got added to black ops cold war this is most likely the last DLC weapon that they're going to be adding into the game now you can unlock it for free and in this video I'm going to tell you guys how to do it and strategies on how to do it quickly so you can either unlock it in multiplayer or zombies we're going to talk about multiplayer first so in multiplayer what you have to do is get one melee kill and one tomahawk kill in the same life now once you do that you have to finish that game and you have to do that in 15 separate games and that's how you unlock it it should take you about an hour and a half if you play 6v6 face off that's probably the easiest because it's on small maps the gunfight maps and you should be able to do that one fairly easily now if you want to unlock it in zombies it's going to take you a little bit longer most likely and what you have to do is play outbreak so if you don't want to play outbreak just go on multiplayer but if you don't mind outbreak and you like it what you have to do is destroy 12 ether orbs now how this works is orbs will spawn on the map you have to find the orb you have to knife it you'll get like a thousand points and then you have to follow the orb where it goes destroy the orb again and then follow it where it goes again and then last but not least destroy the orb in the third location and you'll get a loop pinata medal and that will count as one orb out of the 12. now the only problem about this is not only do you have to find the orbs on the map but also they have a chance of not spawning as well which is probably the biggest issue that I have with these orbs. But a friend of mine, Mystery HQ, made a guide that shows all the possible orb locations on every single outbreak map. So I will have that link down below to help you guys out with that. But overall, I would say that playing Outbreak is probably going to take you about two hours. I just played round one and restarted, and you have to use a melee weapon to destroy those orbs. So that's the only thing. I just used the side the entire time, and that worked out pretty well for me. So I'd recommend just doing that. The only problem is there's a couple spots in Outbreak where you can not actually hit it with a melee weapon. And then I think that just doesn't count. And also, if you don't destroy the orbs fast enough, they'll disappear and not count as well. So you just got to be like really, really fast and accurate with it. Use, you know, vehicles and things like that to get to where you need to be as quick as possible. But uh, overall, that one definitely took me a little bit longer than it was supposed to. And it took about two hours. So uh, that one kind of sucks. But let's talk about the actual hammer and sickle melee weapon. I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is a middle of the road melee weapon. It's definitely not as good as the Psy or the E-Tool, which are still the two dominant melee weapons when it comes to Black Ops Cold War. They just melee so fast. And the problem I had with the Hammer and Sickle is the hit registration was just so weird. Sometimes you'll hit the zombie perfectly, other times you won't. And even if you're like right in the zombie's face and you use it, sometimes it just doesn't kill the zombie. And that's the biggest problem I had with this weapon. Now I did get a dark ether, so I did use it extensively in about two games. The first game I exfilled on round 36, second game I got to about round 25 or 30. I wouldn't say it's like the greatest thing in the world guys. It's definitely like middle of the road. I'd give it a five or six out of 10. It's not as bad as the machete. Uh, but it's a little bit better than that and that really isn't saying that much because the machete is probably the worst melee weapon out of all of them so if you guys need any tips for getting jackrabbits what I would recommend doing is using Tesla storm because if you activate it zombies will just get shocked and not hit you so you can hit zombies with the hammer and sickle as fast as you can with that and if you also need another method I would recommend having shatter blast on your weapon you can throw a decoy grenade on the ground and then hit a zombie in the back and shatter blast will activate killing all the zombies now you do need to wait about a minute between the shatter blast actually activating but that's definitely what i did and it was the easiest way to get the jack rabbit medals which are 20 kills without getting hit for the final challenge once you reach round 30. so anyways guys that is pretty much my review of the hammer and sickle once again guys i'm gonna have a bunch of vanguard videos coming out later this week so make sure you guys stay tuned for that i'm probably gonna take tomorrow off but i'm not really sure yet exactly what i'm gonna do but 
Thank you guys for watching. There's more updates coming out tonight. I might make a video on that as well. We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.